Hello and welcome to an episode of Fully Charged Plus. Very specifically, short episode about this bicycle. Now, I've just recently been sent this to review. It's a beautiful bike, it's made in France. It's called the Angel. The Angel bike, this is absolutely designed as an urban bike. And therefore, where I live isn't sort of the opposite of urban. I've been for a few rides on it and it's really comfy. It really helps you move off from a standing start. And then it, it, it loses some of its appeal when you're on an open road and you could go a bit faster. You can imagine, I'm not a very speedy, racy Tour de France cyclist, but I do go a little bit faster than this bike comfortably can. And there's a few reasons behind that, but let me just take you through the basics of it. It's beautifully built. I like the fact that it has really sophisticated tracking that really works well. The software works brilliantly well. I can see exactly where the bike is using the app on my phone. And I think that's a very good thing because unfortunately we live in the real world. I've had loads of really nice bikes. Quite a few of them have been stolen, never to be seen again. This one, you would literally have to saw this bike to pieces. The frame, you'd have to cut it up to find the tracking device. It's buried within the frame of the bike. It can operate even if you disconnect the battery, which I'll show you in a moment. You would have to put it in a giant Faraday bag to steal it. And even then, I reckon you'd be able to find it quite easily. So that is such a good thing to know that you can track your bike if some scumbag uh, steals it. I think that's a fair thing to say because it's a very attractive looking bike, as I'm sure you can see. It's got a really good screen here built in that tells you how fast you're going, how much battery range you've got left. You can change the settings on that all very simply. That all works beautifully. The app took me a little bit of faffing around to get connected with it, but that is because this is one of their press bikes and it's been allotted to a lot of different people. Brakes, fantastic, of course, as you'd expect. What, one thing you can always talk about with bikes is gears. This has none, this has one setting. You, but you, but from, literally from a standing start, so you're at the traffic lights in Amsterdam, Brussels, Paris, Berlin, London, and the lights go green and you put some pressure on the pedal. Literally, you dent the sole of your, the shoe you're on, barely, and you start to move off with the electric power. So it comes on really early, and that takes a bit of getting used to. The first couple of times I rode it, it went, whoa, careful. Normally with an electric bike, that often kicks in a little bit later. You've got to kind of get going, then you feel it going. So it's fully automatic. There's no manual override. There's no throttle or anything like that. You then pedal and you go up to say 22, 23 K pH. Uh, and then you're pedaling pretty fast and that's it. I mean, you can pedal faster if you're super fit and you go to spin classes, you could probably get up to 35 K on this bike. But you'd be getting, your, your legs would be a blur. So there's that restriction. All I wanted to do riding around here is go ka-ching, ka-ching, so I can go and do a bit more speed at a lower pedal rate. But in a city, you can see that would be absolutely fine. The battery is detachable. I've got the key here. So you unlock that, that slides off. You take that inside, it's not heavy. Take that inside, you recharge it here. This, that's where you put the, the charge in to get it going. And, uh, but you can ride the bike without that. There is, a, I, I'm not entirely clear by this from reading everything I've been told, but when I spoke to the lovely man from Angel Bikes, he said you can ride the bike without the battery pack on because you've charged the battery that's in the bike. So I think there is a smaller capacity battery in there. It won't have anything like the same range. And I've ridden it without the battery on just to see what it's like. And actually you barely notice any extra. It feels like an ordinary bike. But as soon as you put this on, you really do. I mean, at low speeds, up to 20K, you're really getting a lot of help. It's like there's a very strong rugby player pushing you along, but only when you pedal. But you can, I went up a hill on my most recent ride, not that steep, but enough to get you, get a proper young person a bit puffed. And I literally let my legs do that. And I went up the hill. There was no pressure on the pedals at all. So if you want it to do, give you that much help, it can. I think it's a beautiful bike. It's not particularly cheap. It's about two and a half thousand pounds, 2,800 euros, but if you live and work in a city and you commute across a city, this is like a heaven. It would be absolutely fantastic. It's particularly for someone my age who's a little bit more long in the tooth and gets a bit more tired. You know, the, the power that the, this has is, is really useful. It really helps you, particularly stop start. That's, the, that's where you really notice it. So I was riding along an open lane where there was no traffic and nothing going on and I stopped and started again and then stopped and started again and it was lovely. That was the starting off again, so, so easy from a standing start, even though then you're only like pedaling really slowly. 
So, the Angel e-bike. I've got to say, I love it. Now, I can't show you all the other things it does. At least I can. <laughs> I like that. Indicators. Look at that. And then brake lights. And then indicators there. That is brilliant, I think. I think that's great. And that's all built into the thing. And you can see which way you're indicating because it flashes on here. It tells you which side you're doing. These bikes are getting better and better. More and more clever ideas of how to make them easier to use. And, uh, uh, you know, and just easier to manage. Because obviously you lock this up on the street. But you can take the battery and charge it in your office or your house. Love it. Love it. Angel e-bike. Anyway, that's all. As always, if you have been, thank you for watching.